What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about shiny Pokemon, how they're going to be appearing in the overworld inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. Now during E3 we got the news that shiny Pokemon were going to be appearing in the games. Now that's not mind blowing, that's not rocket science, anybody could have guessed that shiny Pokemon was going to make an appearance in these games. They had been since the second generation since they started using color definitively inside of the games they added a shiny variant to kind of spice things up I guess or kind of make a unique rare version of that Pokemon species which I enjoy I enjoy shiny hunting I enjoy watching people shiny hunt a whole side community you could say that's inside of the Pokemon community shiny Pokemon has even appeared outside of the mainline Pokemon RPG games they appeared in Pokemon Quest they're in Pokemon Go they're in Pokemon Duel pretty much any game that you can capture Pokemon Pokemon you usually can capture a shiny variant inside of the games as well so it's not again to me it's not a surprise not rocket science that we got them in let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee however that is not why I'm doing this discussion video today we got some brand new news on how they're gonna be appearing in the wild now if you do know Pokemon let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee doesn't have wild Pokemon battles like before that you just run around in tall grass and Pokemon jump out and you start a Pokemon battle in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you see the Pokemon in the overworld. You can either go up to them to spark the initial capture phase. I say capture phase because there's no wild battling wild Pokemon. Or you can, again, be in the overworld and a Pokemon can attack you or run up to you. Again, sparking that capture phase. And during the E3 Treehouse event, we saw auras around the Pokemon. And a lot of people were like, wait, what does these auras mean? And we come to find out that these auras actually represent different heights for the Pokemon so if we have a blue aura that's the Pokemon is small if it's a red aura then the Pokemon is bigger and the reason why they do that because you get I believe you get more candies from the bigger ones which you can use to power up your Pokemon they're also more likely to be a higher level more stronger whatever the case may be it's better to catch a, a bigger Pidgey than a tiny little Pidgey which kind of makes sense but I kind of need to see and play with the game to kind of fully comprehend that size makes me stronger type of appeal when it comes to Pokemon I think they're doing that to lean towards the again the Pokemon Go players but again shiny Pokemon how are they gonna be appearing in the overworld was the greatest question that we've gotten ever since we got the, the news that they were gonna be appearing in the game and that we were gonna be able to see Pokemon in the wild a lot of people were wondering are we gonna get shiny variant forms running around in the wild and uh, it looks like to be again this is not 100% but from multiple sources from Joe Merrick from Cerebi.com well this is the same same people but from Joe Merrick from Cerebi from Pokeblip the actual article that is that Joe Merrick is actually getting this information from that is up on Cerebi.net about Pokeblip actually getting their hands on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee during a post E3 event in Paris they had the opportunity to preview the these games on the Nintendo Switch as well as Super Smash Brothers Ultimate so during this preview event they couldn't take photos or couldn't take videos so that's why there weren't brand new footage from the event to come out but we do get a little bit brand new news and of course regarding shiny Pokemon now in this news article again I'm gonna have it linked in the description below so you guys can see it now this is again translated by Google because it was in a different language but as you can see it says move over the chromatic pokemon which stands for shiny pokemon in this language it says will be present one has even appeared while the person was playing earlier this week of presentations host the e3 event it says even if the apparent rate was not disclosed in addition to their unusual colors they will be identifiable on the map thanks to a brilliant aura now they saying a brilliant aura you couldn't 
expect that the aura is probably going to be gold or be, you know, have sparkles on it. Kind of like what every shiny Pokemon has currently. Like when you enter a battle, you see the, like a squirrel fly around them and stars fly. Same thing like in Pokemon Go as well. So I do think that's going to be the aura that they're talking about that we're going to actually see flying around in the wild. Kind of like we've seen at the treehouse demo with the blue aura and the red aura. So when you're running around in a forest area or in a cave and you see that Pokemon gold with the shiny aura around them with the stars or whatever the case may be or whatever it's going to be, you can go particular to that Pokemon and engage in battle. Now from this translation, a lot of people are speculating, leading to believe, and I think Joe Merrick is kind of writing this home. He wrote it on the survey page that they're not going to appear with the color variation in the wild. Like the wild Pokemon sprites aren't going to look shiny. Like if they have a distinctive look to them, they're not going to look that way in the wild. But when you start the battle, they will be the shiny variant. But in the wild, again, they're just going to have the aura around them indicating that they are a shiny Pokemon. I think this is pretty cool. I think this is a way again to involve shiny Pokemon inside of the Pokemon games in a unique way. I say in a unique way because this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I haven't gotten my hands on it, but from what I've seen from videos and from the trailers, sometimes Pokemon jump in and out of an area. Like you would see a wild Zubat randomly appear, but then also like a Pokemon would just dig a hole in the ground and be out. So I'm scared that people are gonna see shiny Pokemon, maybe multiple shiny Pokemon at, po at points, and they run away. And you couldn't get to them in time or you end up encountering a Zubat or a Pidgey or whatever the case may be before you encounter that shiny Pokemon or that shiny Pokemon variant and your dreams get crushed because after you jump out of the last Pokemon capture phrase, I'm saying capture phrase because there's no Pokemon battles, after you jump out of that, you might not see that Pokemon again and that's leaving everybody like, oh my god, like, oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of good scary videos out there in the wild if this is indeed the way we're gonna encounter shiny Pokemon. I'm still on the fence because there is a possibility that it just was that way inside of the, this build, but I highly doubt it because this being, again, post E3, even though they probably was playing the same portion of the game that people were playing in that E3 beta or that E3 demo. Who knows what features from that demo are going to actually make it to the final version of the game. With that being said, the game is probably mostly complete with it having a November release date set in stone and they sending pre-orders out. I'm pretty sure the game is just at the final touches of polish. So there is a chance that there is no aura. That is just a red, a blue aura. You encounter that Pokemon and then there's a chance that that Pokemon could be shiny when that battle or again, that capture phrase is initiated. But again, from this translation, I personally think that it's gonna be an aura around the Pokemon that's gonna have sparkly and stuff like that. A lot of people are like, oh, but in the original concept art of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, there's sparkles in the grass you can see the sparkles this is the sparkles right here it confirms that shiny pokemon is a thing it confirms that this is going to be the aura that we see and i'm like okay all right all right now that we know that it's there let's not reach let's wait for further information to come out let's wait for the games to be in our hands let's figure out how exactly shiny hunting is going to be in pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go now with this new information let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how do you think we're going to encounter shiny pokemon and let's go pikachu and let's go eevee do you think it's it's like what this article is saying. There's going to be an aura surrounding the Pokemon. Do you think the aura is going to have stars or be gold? Something to definitely represent a shiny form. Joe Merrick and Serby are kind of indicating in their write-ups about this that no, it's not going to appear in the shiny form in the wild, which will kind of make sense because that will then mean that they will have to program not only every regular form in the game, but also every shiny variant as well to run around and have the spread and have the thing even though it's just a coat of paint i'm not a game developer i don't know how hard or difficult that probably would be but to me it wouldn't be too difficult to throw a different color onyx out in the fucking wild let me know your thoughts on that as well in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy i'm fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel concern ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one